Good morning, everybody. Welcome to this month's Rediscover Your Stamp. So I am showing you some of the products I'm gonna use. I pulled together some paper person uh, products from my stash, and we're going to ignore all of these stamps, and I'll tell you why in a second. So when I sat down to create this month's Rediscover Your Stamp project, I thought it was April. I don't know why. Maybe because I'm just so done with March. Maybe because I'm confused. I don't know. So the theme for March is spring. But I'm going to go off on my own little happy creative way and create something that isn't spring. Okay, so... <laughs> There are spring colors though, because I am using this like eggshell, not eggshell. It reminds me of the speckled egg from the Distress Oxide, this like uh, ledger kind of uh, blue green paper. And I'm going to use some lovely goldenrod. So sort of, kind of, maybe that's what we're saying. And my stamp set I'm gonna use today is pretty versatile. I mean, it could, you could totally totally use it for spring um yeah I'm trying here I'm trying really hard I'm gonna map both these photos on this pretty ledger paper again all the products I'm using today are from a collection of different paper person um kits the all the paper person kits are from uh like end of 22 beginning of 2023 so I'm gonna map both my photos and then I'm gonna use this three by four stamp set from Prima. Uh, and I'm going to create a border that is going to span across both sides of my spread. I want to place this stamp in such a way that it kind of runs off the page. So in order to do that, I'm just moving my cardstock off a little to the side so that I can get the stamp positioning right. Then I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, fun splatters on this spread. So I am taking my absolute very favorite gold spray and I'm going to splatter some gold shimmery goodness over my patterned paper that I've just created. This stamp set matches up pretty good so I am able to kind of stamp a seamless border across. The first one turns out as you can see, really good. The second one, not so much, but that's okay because I am going to need to cover some of the, um, some of it off. I'm gonna to need to cover some of it up anyway. And kind of having that happy little accident that you're gonna see in a second helped me choose where I was going to cover up the border. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do some of the gold splatters again with my favorite gold spray. Isn't that golden red color beautiful? I love the paper person ink pads. Uh, they're such pretty and different colors and um, I use them quite often. As many of you know, I am a huge fan of Catherine Puller inks. That's what most of my ink pads are. Uh, but these are different. These ink pads are different. The colors are different and I truly, I really do like them. So I went back to my first spread and I'm adding just a little bit more splatter because it was starting to dry back, which was totally fine, but I felt like it wasn't visible enough. I wanted to add a little more and make sure that um, the splatter would be nice and visible on my finished spread. I want to add a bit of journaling to my spread. So what I uh, was gonna do was I have this piece of, I guess technically it would be kind of like the scrap from the six by eight paper pad, but what it basically is is a three by four card that I made myself. I'm gonna cut it a little bit shorter and I'm going to use my, this uh, little journaling spot to cover up where I wasn't happy with the stamping. And then no one will ever know it's there. I'm, go, I'm trying to decide if I want to add just a bit of a an angle or if I want to add 
if I want it to be straight on. And in the end, I do go ahead and add just, just a slight angle, like really slight. And then I am going to go ahead and add tiny attachers. So there are going to be a lot of little stapled bits in this spread. And I'm going to go ahead and work on my title. Now these photos are of our third dog, which does not get as much scrapbooking time as my other two. He is, he is our oldest dog and he has some anxiety issues. He um, has really bad eyesight and he gets a little, he gets scared and very easily. So we kind of, um, shelter him quite a bit he leads a very sheltered life um but he's i mean he's just he's an old man we affectionately refer to him as old man cooper because that's his name cooper and quite often you can hear cooper in the background he's the one that barks in my house most of the time just because things scare him and he barks at them and yes i have tried like anti I've tried, you know, anti-anxiety meds from the vet I've tried, and they sort of help, but he's just very uh, kind of skittish in his old age. He was not always this way, but just recently with his, I really think it has to do with his bad eyesight. So, but I have these, these uh, couple photos of him. He let me take a photo of him, and uh, I thought I would do a page of them. I'm going to title this page, Hanging with Mr. Cooper if you are of a certain age and um, remember that TV show. <laughs> I definitely, that was just, that was my nod to uh, that fun little show that was around when I was a kid. Uh, and I'm gonna use these gorgeous like gold dipped alphabets because I did count first to make sure I had enough letters to do the title of that I want it. Okay, so I have the goldenrod color and the goldenrod ink, and I have the pretty kind of uh, pale, I, I'm still calling this a speckled egg color because it's the only color that it reminds, it just, that's what it reminds me of. And now I have these adorable puffy stickers. I don't know why I haven't used like all of them yet, but I haven't. We're going to use a bunch of them now. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to take all of the tealy, speckled, eggy, colored hearts, and I'm going to take all of the mustardy, goldenrod colored hearts, and I'm going to place them into all the little circles across the border of my, the bottom of my page. And I also put a little cluster of them beside the end of my title as well. Uh, I am trying to make them look spontaneous is not the word, but that's the word that's coming to my head. Um, I don't, I don't know how to say this. Anyway, I'm adding the puffy, puffy hearts like everywhere. I even cut them up like I do with a lot of my die cuts and then like restuck them down and it, it worked and it was awesome. So that's totally cool. Uh, I love these puffy hearts. I love them and uh, I am really uh, trying right now to use up my stash so kind of kill a little bit more kits I mean I do pretty good I do pretty good with my stash management um, I do I will say that but I think right now I'm starting to get to a point where I almost have to create piles on the floor which is never a good thing so I have been trying to use up a lot of older kind of stash products. Look at all those puffy. And the other cool thing I need to tell you is that do you know that when you put staples in puffy hearts, they like puff up more and it's such a cool look and I love it. So I put lots of staples in there too. Don't forget to go check out Miss Hibba's video. I'm sure she did not mix up her months and she has a lovely spring stamp process video to share with you. I will link up both her channel 
and her video. Oh, and make sure you subscribe to her because she's amazing, you guys. Like, she is, uh, I love her so much. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.